got Rich Pham here from Vietnam. Is this, is that where you're living currently? Yeah. Okay, right on. We've got, is it like Pham? Pham. Okay, taking seven laps in the Porsche Turbo with Bear sitting co-pilot. He just took the SLS AMG out. Now he's going to try out the twin turbo 991. we got seven laps here. If I remember saying more break, more break, more break. I got to feel it each time. Of course, get some speed going down the straight, but I'm not really trying to slow you down. Okay. Heading off into the corner with the engine on the butt, we have to get the weight to the front on the front tires. All right, if you're not doing it right out there, it'll be understeering. Okay. If it is understeering, don't give it more throttle because this thing will oversteer right out from underneath you. Watch out for that. So if it understeers, give more brake or just let go and get it to balance? Holding the brake to the apex there. That'll help out oh, okay. the trail braking. Trail braking, got it. Um, heading on down to the apex helps out a lot with the Porsches. So should I brake a little later? Uh, well, we can work on that. Okay. Heading down first time by, just send it down to the braking zones and then we'll, okay. we'll work on it from there. But just make sure you're getting as close as you can to that green one and then really cutting this thing before you dig more into the throttle. Okay. As soon as you dig more throttle and you're not cutting it, it's going to try and understeer out from underneath you again. Okay. Cool. Your paddles move with the steering wheel here. Watch out for your windshield wipers. No one's coming to the right here. Foot on the brake pedal if you have no questions. Thumb down all the way on this one. Pull it all the way back to drive. To the left one. You're going to steer a little out to the right and then we're going to head left. How does this compare to the GT3 that just pulled in next door? The GT3 with the active rear steering, it doesn't have as much power, but the handling, especially around this track, it does have a quicker time. But I personally would take the GT3 over the 458, even though, a little more this way, even though my boss doesn't like me saying that. Really? But it is a sick track car. The 458, one coming back here. It's just so, so nimble on your fingers. We got one more Audi coming by too. Okay. But it's just like steering an angel around there. You can still slip up a little bit in the Ferrari, but the Porsche GT3, you really got to be doing something wrong to get that thing to understeer. One more Ferrari coming by as well. And then, okay, but we got to wait till they stop popping over this hill here. Just tell me when to go. I love the GT3 though. pulled off track is safe to enter we're gonna head to the single green you can pull your right shift up balance your throttle to the brake zone squeeze it a little more so release the brake balance your throttle no worries eyes on the exit here unwind the steering wheel and feel the power right shift up right shift up Yeah. Keep it up. 
that was eight. Let's All go right. ahead and pass, actually. We'll give this guy a break. Give him a break, give him a break. All right, I like the new trick on the chicane. So they run in, why don't you got to turn the... in, when you're going faster like that, you got to turn in earlier. Why don't they move the cone back? Well, that is a very, very smart idea. Um, but for people that don't drive as fast as you, they got to use that one so that they can set up for the next corner. My previous instructor didn't tell me that. That's a much faster way to go through the chicane. It, it is. It is. And you're set, you're already set up too. If you're turning in earlier, you're set up for the next corner, right? Yeah. Twice as early, right? Uh, cool. It's the blue lines that scares me. I don't want to get thrown off. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that that too. And they're slippery too. We'll turn in here. We'll go in this one. All right. Making me sweat. <laughs> Thanks. That was good. No problem. Pop this over for drive. Thumb down all the way up for park. Steering wheel to the left. To the left. Yeah. yeah. That worked like that. So you. you learned something today that was pretty good because yeah. each time that I told you like something wrong that I would tell like a normal customer that doesn't have experience you were like no holding the brake to the apex especially so yeah I break I break too hard and not doing trail braking exactly right. yeah that one but you just drove the bends too that's that's a killer with the engine in the front that thing's always planted for you but right. I don't know if you want to try the the GT3 out, I think, or for next time, I think you're really going to like that one. All right. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Oops.